Hey everyone, if you are enjoying these videos, go check out my website at apcsexamprep.com. I have information on boot camps and tutoring availability, along with other AP Computer Science resources I think you'd enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome to 1.6 on CodeHS AP Computer Science A 2025 edition. We have lesson 1.6 compound assignment operators. So compound assignment operators allows you to add and assign at the same time. So here we have a health bar and you, I assume you'd use a minus equals to lower that health bar. So you would update the health by lowering it and reassigning it to that lower value. By collecting coins, you would add to it and assign it at the same time. So that would be a plus equals. So you could do it the long way and update num coins equals num coins plus five. Um, so it would be 130. And then if you, assuming you collect a coin, you would do this code and that would add five to it. The num coins would be equal to 135 because of that code right there. But then once it's 135, num coins plus five, equals num coins plus five would add five more to it and so on and so forth. So it's common to update a variable using its own current value. Um, this is called incrementing or decrementing would be going down. So incrementing would be adding one, so counter equals counter plus one. Down would be decrementing, counter equals counter minus one, but there's faster ways of doing it. Counter plus plus, counter minus minus. So you could replace both of those and you'd more often see the plus plus or minus minus. Don't get confused with the two pluses being adding by two or subtracting by two with the minus minus. It's just one. That's just how it's done in a faster shortcut. So um, there's other ways to add by two or by five. Um, you would use a plus equals. So here counter plus equals three would add three to the previous value of counter minus equals four would subtract from the previous value of counter by four. So we have both the arithmetic operator and assignment operator all in one, and that adds and assigns three more. So counter would start off equaling zero, but plus equals three. Counter would then be three after this line of code. You can do this with any of the operators, um, the arithmetic operators. Add and assign, subtract and assign, multiply, divide, modulus and assign. So we're going to use this. So this is more um, about knowing how to use this than it really is um, new information that you need to memorize. It's more just application based. So two divided by five. So since these are both int values, dividend would still round down. So five divided by two would be 2.5, but it would truncate. So it would round down to two. So utilizing some 1.5 knowledge as well here um, with the truncating and integer division. So what will be stored in the value variable modulo, um, sometimes called modulus after running the following code segment, num equals two, modulo equals 15, modulo 15 mod two would be what's the remainder if you divide by two, it would be one. So modulo would equal one. And then what will be stored in the value of age after the code snippet? Age is 16, 17, 16, 17. So it would be 17 at the end. Which of the following code segments will end with num holding the value eight? Uh, num times equals two would be eight, seven, eight. So one would. 35 divided by 4 would be 8, because 36 divided by 4 is 9, so it would be 8 and some change, but it's integer division, so it would just be 8. So that would also be 8 there. And then 17 mod 9 would have a remainder of 8. 9 goes into 17 one time with 8 left over, so num would also be 8, so it would be all 3. All right, basketball stats simplification. Keep track of team stats. 
go through the program line by line and find opportunities to update uh, a calculation so that it uses compound assignment operators. So, all right, so plus equals. plus equals plus plus I assume there's one up there plus plus and plus plus and plus equals plus equals plus equals 2 plus plus and I believe that's it plus equals plus one. yeah so if we ran the code it should have the same values um, as before So I don't think running the code is necessary. We can just check the code and there we have it. All right, player health. Okay, so player health uh, gains 20 health plus equals 20. Player health minus equals 15. Player health plus equals 10. Player health divide equals 2. Player health times equals 3. So it should be 120, 105. 115, 60, 57 times 3, 171 is my guesses. I have to look back at the assignment to see if that's right. And I'll never know because I need to print all of these. Paste, 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 paste. Let's try that again. All right, and that's it for 1.6.6 player health. Okay, you spend two hours, 30 minutes, and 45 seconds working on homework one evening, write a program that converts total time into seconds and prints the result. Okay, um, we could do hours times equals 60 times 60 because that would this would convert to minutes this would convert to seconds minutes times equals 60 and then seconds plus equals hours seconds plus equals minutes because those are both converted to seconds now and then I think it wants us to print that. So now seconds is updated. Create a variable total seconds. Well there we go. So read um, total seconds equals zero total seconds Total seconds, and I could have it starting off equaling seconds, and then do that. I'm tempted to not even run it, but let's see what happens. That sounds about right. And it is perfect. All right, banking 101. Scanner variable read input from the console. All right, easy enough. Scanner input equals new scanner. 
System.in. Um, a variable to hold an interest rate equals input.next double. Uh, probably should prompt the user first. So we need to create an interest rate. So I will not be doing that. It will be 0 0.03 for 3%. And then after that, that's when they want me to prompt. What is the, please enter the, okay. Look at the sample, okay. Enter the initial balance, okay. Uh, int initial balance equals okay so this is going to be a double and it makes sense you're dealing with cash so we'll do double from the beginning um, next input dot next double dollar sign and then plus initial balance so because in the past they'd want me to create a new variable I'm gonna leave some space for a new variable and then I'm going to do two more prints. It says, please enter deposit amount. So I'm going to say double um, deposit equals input.next double. And final balance after interest. Calculate final balance equals, well, initial balance. And it wants me to use one of these assignment operators. So, how would I do that? Final balance plus equals initial balance times interest rate probably should always read um, read the instructions so times by okay so you could times equals I think I think you could do it this way too but you could times equals interest rate one plus interest rate but then you would need to do final balance plus equals your deposit after that new balance or final balance equals balance times one plus final balance. so initial balance so let's do this on this line all in one like they have it equals Um, initial balance times one plus interest rate. The new balance should be saved in the original balance variable. Then print out the new balance with the applied interest rate. Ask user for a deposit amount. Use a compound operator to add the deposit to the balance. Like so. Like I did. So use a compound operator to apply interest to the new balance using the same formula. Okay, so final balance 
Um, I think it's just going to be times equals one plus interest rate. See how this works. Final balance. So we run it. Get a thousand and then two hundred is what they're looking for. So it shouldn't be too hard to test. Oh, don't forget the semicolons. Line fourteen. Semicolon. Two hundred. Oh, balance after interest. Uh, plus. All right, so the final answer is correct, but I need to actually put something here. Balance times one plus. Let's try it. So the order is probably a little bit off. I probably should have done final balance or, I don't know, current balance and then printed it here and then updated it down here instead of creating it right here. I should have put it up here, printed that value because this is the same code as what's right here. Um, and then I could have printed it and then I just would have had to update it. So. We'll see if this still gives me the same answer as it should. Yes. See if they'll still allow it when I check my code. I think they will. It still uses what they're asking for with the plus equals and times equals. But sometimes it's very picky. And there you have it. That is 1.6 for Code HS's AP Computer Science A 2025 edition. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out my website, apcsexamprep.com, where you can get more information on boot camps and tutoring availability.